venom and vengeance. All right. So there we go. And welcome to American Beer TV. We are drinking from Avery Brewing Company. Samael. Oh, <laughs> we've been waiting a long time. I've been. I've had this beer for like t two years. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, I, I just got this beer and totally stoked to drink it. Yes. I noticed that it's. 15.82 percent. That's a big one, yeah. Yeah. Huge so beer. Yeah, definitely. It's aged on um, American oak chips. So, but it's a, it says just standard ale. So this isn't going to be a stout per se. It's going to be just a really flipping strong ale. Let's see what the color. It's almost like a shortcut to barrel aging. Yeah. Like you you shortcut the process and the amount of effort it takes to barrel age it. Right. By just well, yeah, and then you're not going to get any of the flavor of the spirits out of the barrel. Correct. No, so no, you're no. just going to get the flavor of the oak. Right. Now, technically, I know from experience, you could soak those chips in bourbon or something like yeah. that and get more of the flavor. But this, they didn't say they did any of that. Um, so it's clearly, in color, it's clearly not a uh, a stout or anything. It is uh, just a, a light amber ale. Mm -hmm. Very... Pretty carbonated, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of bubbles coming up from the bottom. You get the little haze. Yeah, I didn't oh. pour out all of it. There's definitely a lot of yeast sediment at the bottom of the bottle. Yeah. So we could drink that. Yeah, so it's a naturally fermented. Um, yeah, bottle condition. No, yeah, not filtered at all. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. Uh, really a lot of sweet nose. Yeah, Why I was going to say really sweet nose. Yeah. A lot of alcohol in the nose. And you're definitely picking up that, that oak. Characteristic. It's definitely in there. Right. You don't yeah. necessarily have to do. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's the not. Um, flavor. There's so many barrel aged beers that have the spirit barrel, and a lot of the times when you're when you're smelling a beer like that, that that right. barrel essence really comes out. But if it's just oak, then you know it right. has a little different nose. Yeah, it does. It's that's it's, nice. more of a raw oak nose to it. You know, I mean, it's not like the bourbon. It comes mm -hmm. off so much. It's not being clouded right. by that. And what's kind of cool about this is you can, by just you know tasting this beer and smelling it, you can find out what just the oak does to the beer without the bourbon, without the red wine, or what other some of the people are doing right now. But just get the, what does the flavor of oak do in ale, you know? So It's going along with the theme of the, the whole entire company. Yeah. It's almost like a virgin wood experience. <laughs> and you know what demons. <laughs> Yeah, we should say Samael. What it, it says here, Samael is the prince of demons, uh, the angel of death, accuser and destroyer. Filled with enmity towards man, he planted the vine, the forbidden tree of paradise. Behold his venom and vengeance, both sweet and tempting, enticing you, his spellbound victim within his wings. So, a little melodramatic, but... Um, so this is going to get us wasted. <laughs> Basically, yeah. 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 But yeah, it's a... Uh, it's got a great nose on it. There's tons of yeah, a lot uh, of that. Aromatic. Which is as, as cheesy as it sounds, the whole enticing nature that. of it comes through in the smell. Like totally. the nose of it tells you that you want more. Yeah, I'm getting like a candied sugar. Do oh, we totally. Think that was sugar? Turbinado sugar, I believe. Turbinado sugar. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's that off the nose. that's what they're gonna they're gonna definitely have to to enhance the uh, well, to the get grain bill to get it to 15. Yeah. yeah. So what they did with that is they probably just. During the fermentation process, started force feeding turbinado sugar and uh, oxygen to the yeast to really keep it going um, to, to reach that kind of APV right, level. Right. Yeah. That you exactly. Did, you need yeah, to you get the 15. Yeast will fly Otherwise, if yeah. You don't, yeah. Yeah. You know, and you have to and use a really use strong. It, yeah. Strength, and you got to so. use it. Yeah. For real healthy yeast strength. So let's taste it. Yeah. Boys. There's right. some smokiness to it in there, I think. Too. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So which cheers yeah, would be from the oak? What to yeah. expect? Exactly. Wow, a lot of viscosity on that beer. Yeah, yeah, it's, Ooh. yeah. Viscosity is definitely thicker than you'd expect to see out of this mm -hmm. glass and how the body moves. Yeah, but uh huh. It's yeah, yeah, because it doesn't seem syrupy in the glass. You're not getting like a coating over the glass, but when you put it in your mouth, yeah, yeah. If you can, wow, if you can see it, it washes right off the film of the glass. It doesn't yeah. clean, so you wouldn't expect that kind of viscosity, that kind of syrupy nature out of it. But I'm getting, I'm getting some like. Wine notes. To oh, this totally. Beer. Yeah, there, there, there are in there, and it, it that like fruity grape. Yeah. Which almost begs the question: How much of the wine flavor comes from the barrel itself? Right. Because if all this is is the oak chips, and nothing else that's 
none of the spirit bottles, right. then that's telling you that a lot of the flavor from the wine might it might itself come from oak, right? Oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah, there is, and I mean, you're you're picking up the oak notes. You're definitely picking up those. There is a lot of caramel. Yeah, I mean, just tons of caramel. This is a very sweet beer, um, which again is really interesting at how sweet this is at this alcohol. I would have to say that this. Well, it's naturally conditioned, which is or bottle fermented um, as well. So, I wonder what kind of sugar they used in here to make it so sweet. Normally, if you if you get something up this high, uh, the yeast have eaten all the sugars in the beer, and it's going to be really dry. Well, yeah, that's a general well, condition. Yeah. Well, actually, there's a lot, well, there's a lot of residual sugar. Left. There, well, there must the be. The yeast there. can't eat all that sugar. So. It's just going to be. There's going to be. There's definitely going to be sugar left. Yeah. Right. It's really funny that we were just talking about Sammy Claus, and this yeah. is very much a, a, a close cousin. Yeah. I'd yeah say. Those. Yeah. All those big beers. That any time you get a beer over like 13, 12, 13 percent, right, it's really going to have that sweetness. That caramely. That yeah. You know, um, almost syrupy kind of nature to it. But there's that. In the back there, there's a bit of oak, and I, I, I want to say that these, um, I'm getting some smoke flavor to it, so a little bit of char, um, and I'm wondering if these oak chips really were... Really mellow. It is, it is mellow. I mean, yeah. It's not strong or anything, but I'm wondering if these are toasted oak chips that they were using in this, because um, I know you can buy pure oak chips, and then you can also buy... Okay, yeah, for right. cooking, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah, there's different for ranges of, yeah. of char on the chips, yeah. Right, so this one doesn't, I mean, it doesn't necessarily say, but, I mean, there has to be... Yeah, it begs the that's, question. You have to wonder whether there was another treatment to the oak chips prior to them being put in. Exactly. Whether or not they were smoked themselves. That's yeah, I think the oak in this beer, you know, tasting it, it's warming up a little bit. Yeah. If, to eliminate the oak from this beer, it would just be really syrupy. Yeah, I think it would this be. adds a really nice level of complexity to this beer mm -hmm. that normally wouldn't be there. Um, but you're getting just a ton of flavor from that and you know um, no no hops to speak of. Hops, if there's there's got to be hops in there to try to balance it out. It but, is Avery by the way. Yeah. You yeah. guys are hot. Yeah. Handed yeah. With hops. <laughs> but, but you wouldn't know it from this. I mean you you can't really detect no, no, nothing in it says that there's hops in it, but there has to be something in there to balance yeah. it out. I mean, they say that they use, you know, hops on it, you know, but they don't say what type, and you wouldn't, nothing about this is hoppy in any way. Yeah. Really. But man, yeah, smelling it, again, as it's warming up, I'm really picking up smoke. Um, it just like, keeps coming through, sip yeah. after sip, yeah. Yeah, which is, you know, a, a little surprising, so... Like I said, I really think they use toasted oak chips on it. It doesn't say that. It just says American oak. Uh, American oak we'll chips. We'll send this video to Avery. Hey, yeah. yeah. Hey, did you use toasted? <laughs> um, and this one, this bottle is bottled in March uh, 2010, so we're oh, okay. almost a year away. So this has okay. been oh, wow, yeah. 10 months in the bottle. Yeah. So. so it's, and it's, you know, naturally bottle conditioned, so um, it's, it's only going to get smoother probably. Um, as it continues to go, but um, this is a great tool to use um, to help you analyze further um, further beers because it's just pure oak. So there's a tremendous amount of flavor in the oak by itself. It doesn't need to necessarily be have all these spirits in it. That's a nice flavor to it, but uh, the oak itself lends a tremendous amount of flavor to the beer. Absolutely. You know? So excellent. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Excellent. Get out there and drink craft beer. Woo.